How's it going everyone? This is Midnight Strike 3625 and today we are going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's newest console, as well as being the first foray into the hybrid console market, was released in 2017 to much hype, much fanfare, and much excitement that this was going to turn around years of turmoil for the company. Starting in around 2009, 2010, Nintendo sales for the original Wii started to wane a little bit after the revolutionary sales and startup that it attained back in 2006 through 2008. That was probably the strongest point for the Wii, but after that, people started to move on to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So, sales of the Wii were really in trouble. They released the Wii Mini and took out GameCube support. It wasn't exactly a good time for Nintendo between 2010 and 2017. 2012, they released the Wii U, and everyone thought that it was some sort of expansion on the Wii. They weren't really in a good spot, especially naming their console the Wii U. Everyone pretty much picked on them for that, so I'm not really going to harp on it too much in this video. Now, 2017 comes along, the Wii U is being discontinued, the Nintendo Switch is released, and at first they say this is not the successor to the Wii U, but then it becomes apparent when they actually discontinue the Wii U that this is supplanting the Wii U in the 8th generation of video games. Now, this little thing right here has revolutionized gaming to its core. It takes gaming consoles back to what they should be, stripped down and solely for gaming. Now, too many consoles these days try to be anything and everything, like the PlayStation 4 that I'm actually recording my videos on, so I'm not exactly saying that it's a bad thing. However, there comes a point where it you gotta ask yourself, is this a video game console? Are they really focusing on video games? Because most of the consoles these days are a jack of all trades and a master of none. Now, that's not to say that this little thing here is the exact same way because it doesn't have streaming, it doesn't have a lot of the capabilities that the other consoles have, however it has top-notch AAA gaming and a lot of focus on aesthetics. Like here, you can take these out, this is in handheld mode right now, like that. You can take them out by pressing this little button right here. But of course, if you're watching this and you already have a Switch and you just want to hear it being praised, you already know all this stuff. So, you take it, you can put it in the dock, and yes, you see my original Wii right beside it that I was just bashing. I have it for GameCube games, essentially, and Super Mario Galaxy. So, if you want to play with a controller, you can do that with the controller shell, and the Joy-Cons is what they're called. You put them in until you hear the click. And this is actually surprisingly very ergonomic. It feels comfortable in in your hands, especially if you got big hands like me. Now, if this still isn't good enough, you have the newly designed Pro Controller, which actually feels like an X, an Xbox 360 controller. It's a little bit looser in the joysticks, and the buttons are a little bit softer to press, but you know what? It actually feels like a professional gaming controller like, say, the Xbox 360 or the newer PlayStation 4, I suppose. But all in all, there's a lot to be had with the Nintendo Switch. There's a lot of different gimmicks, shall we say, such as when you take the controller out of, or the Joy-Cons, I should say, out of the controller shell, they vibrate. And there are different ways of doing this, when you press that in, here I'll turn up the volume so you guys can hear it. Really, really cool effect. When you put the Joy-Cons in, there's an audible click on the console itself coming from the speakers. And I think that was a really nice and unique feature to add. Now, there's a lot of stuff that is lacking for the Nintendo Switch. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a really good start and a really good console to have especially if you you consider yourself really into gaming and you want to take your console anywhere you go because when it's docked like this it plays on the TV otherwise you can take it out and it's a handheld console hence the name Nintendo Switch now Nintendo last year in 2019 came up with the idea of releasing a Nintendo Switch Lite which is only handheld in my opinion that defeats the entire purpose of the name so 
I would probably rate that one a hell of a lot less than I would rate the original, but I digress. So the Nintendo Switch has a lot lacking, and it's really important that you figure out the uh, primary console crap. Put your console as your primary console, otherwise other people that log on won't be able to play the games that you purchase. And really you only run into this problem if you lose your first Switch and then you get another Switch. I had that problem when I got another Switch and bought, I believe it was Pokemon Sword and my, my daughter wanted to play it. And she couldn't because I bought it so she had to play it on my profile until we figured out that we could transfer the primary console over to the one we had by going on to Nintendo.com. And it's just a lot of you know fuckery, to say the least, that you don't want to deal with when all you want to do is play games. So sometimes the licensing agreements can get in the way of having a good time, but then again, Nintendo hasn't exactly been known for their creative online aspect, or their, I, I should say, streamlined online aspect in the case of this game right here. We'll just point that out. Which is a very good game, by the way, that I hopefully will be able to review when I get some gameplay footage of it. So, with that, the Nintendo Switch is a good console. It's right up there with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, as far as I'm concerned, as a 8th generation title, 8th um, generation console, and it is a very good return to form for Nintendo. There's a lot of great games on this console. I have a ton of them right here, or at least quite a few of them for getting the console in 2018 and focusing more on PlayStation titles, I should say. But it's not just a gimmick. It's a good console, especially if you're locked down and you want to go other places and just have fun with a first-party Nintendo game and just jump in. Um, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you have kids. And that has been a lifesaver, especially for just being bored around the house, especially. It is definitely a return to form for Nintendo, even though even though they had a lot of great games in the past, and even though the Switch does come with its problems. Another one is the fact that they don't have the virtual console on the Switch. They only have a handful of NES games, and you have to actually be a member of Nintendo's uh, Nintendo Network, which is the new Nintendo uh, PlayStation Plus competition, I guess. Um, doesn't make much sense. So, other than that, the few flaws and the few drawbacks don't really get in the way of you having a good time. So, 9 out of 10, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed my review. This is Midnight Strike 3625. Keep calm and rock on.